Hey, well, welcome to the Dream Labs of Dr. Contrast Live. Um, really for the slight delay in getting started here today, I just want to tune in some things and had to take care of a couple things in the office here. But uh, I thought we'd have a little bit of fun today and uh, notice the subject matter is a bit of a different change of pace. It's uh, the Starship concept uh, for uh, the Mokaran, which is the uh, biological name for Hammerhead Shark, which I thought was kind of neat. And the reason I'm going this route, I want to just give you a quick overview here. Um, is because um, this coming weekend on Saturday, we're doing a, a show in the city of uh, Columbus um, called for Equinox. It's a big presentation put on by my, my wingman, uh, Michael Tees of IP Forge. And, um, and uh, we do a little bit of a special little presentation down there this coming Saturday and looking for maybe a, a new concept for a, a introductory fighter of some sort or a, a concept to sketch for a, an aircraft study uh, for Starship. So this is where we started. I thought I'd just give you a bit of a heads up on that. Um, what I wanted to do here today was just kind of introduce what the whole concept is, go through a variety of sketches and uh, show you what the development might look like. And I thought it'd be really neat to start with, for example, uh, in a case like this, uh, just a real loose, I started here with some real loose little sketches on elevations and some front elevations of the hammerhead shark. Interesting that that um, it has a very unique um, um, uh, set of circumstances uh, in deep sea water, for example, that large panel up front, for example, this guy. I didn't realize when I was doing a little research, they use that as, a, as a, almost like a weapon of some sort where they trap clamshells or certain uh, fish underneath that large platform area and devour it because their mouth is underneath this area here. So they can just kind of crush it, go back and look at it here and um, use it as a feeding system or a hunting system. But what I wanted to look at was just a basic overall gesture, very fish-like, very fluid. And, um, and I looked up the uh, biological species name of uh, the hammerhead. I thought it was interesting. There's a lot of variety, but the one that caught me the most was the mokaran, which is part of their genus of the first, uh, species. So um, we're going to call this thing a concept study uh, for the mokaran. And I'll walk you through some things here. Um, again, I wanted to look at something that was biomimicry related and then we could develop into a starship or a star citizen kind of a future fighter. So um, you'd be very surprised. I took some of the elements of the, the hammerhead and moved them around a little bit to kind of create a whole new look. I didn't want to get into a big flat platform up front with an aircraft or a canopy on it um, of some sort in a fighting system or arsenal of sorts. Um, something really unique and, and different. So I split that up a little bit as I go here as I go down the line. So this is where I started. I'll come back to this as a reference from time to time. So notice there's a basic elevation very, very slow, very sections, very round, uh, almost tubular body form in a sense. And this flattens out here with a very large platform up front where the eyes are located on the outboard ends of this thing. So that's basically the elevation. And then the front elevation was almost the same, very round in nature. And then it comes out to this very large flare up front where the eyeballs are, in the eyes are on the outboard end of that large paddle up front. Again, a little section study here. Then I, I took that basic overall gesture. You notice here's the basic body contour I started to work with. I just took that same basic overall shape, this to this, and then that to that, and then needle nosed it, and then played this up a little bit with a little bit of a tail section. I'd call this a rear, for example. You'll see as we go down the line here. This would be the rear of the aircraft or the actual concept sketches. Now we'll start to put some wing structure, body form around it, keeping it very fluid, trying to pick up the same basic overall section that's in the actual uh, hammerhead itself or the Mokaran, but then give it a whole new identity. So I want to get into a real, really super slick, streamlined form. Uh, it might be a drone of some sort unmanned. I don't know yet. I really haven't made up my mind yet. I just, as I said today, I want to introduce a program and begin to develop this for me over the next couple of weeks because once we go to the show on Saturday, I'm going to take some field information from the people um, um, at the show itself and show them some of the development here and have them put some input into it. And then little by little, maybe develop a really nice finished illustration to go out there on my website for purchase. So, And uh, for the uh, audience down in, uh, at, the, at the Equinox program to this coming Saturday. So this is where we are. This is where I started. So this is phase one. I'm going to leave that right there because I'm going to need it. This is the little pencil sketches that I started to generate very quickly, little thumbnail sketches. Again, notice. I took that same hammerhead, let's go back to this for a moment here. I took that same hammerhead location up front um, with that very flat plan view in the, in the, uh, in the uh, plan view of the actual fish itself. And I, I said, you know what, maybe we take that and just distort it. Maybe come with a nice little crescent, some sort of a, or a wing victory or, or split V. Um, and then a lot of the uh, body form, notice the body form is pretty consistent all the way through, adding a large rudder or tail like the fin has in the uh, actual, uh, hey! Deco is now following. Hey, they have me on board, man. How are you? Where are you coming from? Uh, Deco, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to come on board here. Um, 
So uh, carry on here, the, the whole biomimicry thing was to me intriguing. So we took a very unique species, which is the hammerhead, and converted into these, these sketches. So I started here, notice the body form. I'll go back to this guy just for a moment. I want to pay attention to this, it's very critical. Down through the line here. This body form stayed pretty consistent all the way through, but the real trick was, the real, real essence of the concept was to get a really neat looking plan form of the actual aircraft itself, or the fighter, to make it look a little bit more distinctive and have some of that hammerhead characteristic to it. So there we are. This is the first pass at it. Now, the neat thing about this is, the reason for that split wing and that hammerhead, notice I took the shape and kind of veed it a little bit as opposed to being flat. Um, hey, whales, oh my goodness, unbelievable. Whales, whales, uh, whales in Europe or whales here, that's amazing. Thank you so much for joining. That's terrific. Um, welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy the presentation. It's so grateful to have you on board. Now, you got to tell, I'm from Scotland. Are you, are you from Wales? I was born in Glasgow, Scotland. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, but again, notice, let's go back to the sketch here for a moment. That, that bit of a that's a great distraction. It's good evening from Wales. Wow. Unbelievable. Thank you. So I kept a pretty pure body form in terms of that basic contour. Notice, there it is right there. And uh, let me show you a little bit of an overlay if I can get the two together here. Notice how that contour stayed pretty consistent. There is the actual form itself. And I brought back into the body form here. But I thought, you know, there's something unique about this that I really wanted to really develop further. And that was to get some sort of a plan form that really made a huge distinctive difference. And what I'm looking at here, and again, you can correct me or else uh, criticize. That's great. That's what we're here for, um, to look at yeas and nays. These pods on the end, instead of having a pilot up front, these pods are pilot co-pilot. So they're separate modules. Uh, in the UK, I'm a lot of excited to hear what you have. Oh, me too. That, I'm, I'm excited to have you on board. It's really, I'm very, very fortunate to have you on board. So thank you so much for taking the time. Being a Glaswegian, I know it's about 8, 8 p.m. there in, uh, in the UK. So thank you so much for taking the time. I'll make this worthwhile for you, believe me. So here again, but I thought it'd be kind of neat to take, get away from the actual cockpit, you know, uh, center line on the machine. Uh, but to, to split them up a little bit and get a little more diversity in some of the plan forms. And you'll see as I go here how this will really begin to really follow through, for example. So once again, uh, same body shape, adding a little bit more of a, a delta or a, a reverse wing out front. To kind of spread the form out a little bit, a little bit of the hammerhead. Still playing with them, uh, not playing with, but really paying attention to the hammerhead uh, concept. But bending it a little bit to give it more newness to it. And again, these pods on the outboard end, I'm not quite sure yet if that's going to be functional. Yet. I've got to do a little more investigating how that's going to function. But I just thought it would be really cool to have this pilot, co-pilot, on the extremities for visual surfaces and for uh, interaction process. So that's where I started. There's number one. I'm going to go down the line here very quickly. There's sketch one. Then I went back to another variation. The same thing again. Notice, uh, there's a little, little thumbnail sketch of the actual hammerhead itself here. Uh, but again, notice a little bit more, a little more deliberate in terms of putting these sketches together here. So this is a little bit more, this, that one was pretty timid. This one's a little bit open. It's so the same basic concept. Um, looking at those side pods again, these, these winglets where the, uh, the pilot, co-pilot would kind of nest in. So there's sketch number two. Then I went to a plan view, and I think this started to tell a story. All of a sudden, hmm, that's what I'm getting at. Something that's really unique in terms of, well, you know, you don't see that very often when you get the basic body form through the center of the core. And then you begin to shovel in, for example, this little perspective, a little change here of getting these, these side pods out there, or pilot, co-pilot, or whatever it might be. It could be a drone as well. I, again, I'm keeping that wide open. I'm just looking for some really unique shapes and, and surfaces to work with here. Um, but I was really intrigued with this, and it might be something very wise we look at as we develop this shape and this concept to go a little bit further, maybe a little more guts in the middle here. I don't know how you feel about that, uh, Deco de Divery. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm sorry. But uh, what's, your, what's your opinion thus far? If you're uh, still on board here, I'd just I'd like to get your input on uh, I'm looking for something that's radically new, but at the same time functional. We have to investigate a little bit more. Maybe it's a little bit too gossamer yet. Maybe a little bit more girth in here to support those, those uh, outriggers, or those those, uh, those modules for the, the uh the personnel to kind of embody into but i just i just thought there was something unique about that and uh and i think the shape is starting to take some development i'll show you some sketches later on um on uh, some development down the line about what we took into that from this basic plan view sketch so that was the third study we did again the unique plan view and again a little bit of perspective changing the view a little bit notice um, this kind of flattens out a little bit here in terms of the perspective so i turned it a little bit to kind of see what that whole 
process is going to look like when you have to turn the shape itself. Do we, do we want to open those wings up a little bit? Do we want to tighten them down? I don't know if I want to tighten them down. I think that takes it away from being that very strong hammerhead variation on theme. And when you look at this, this that hammerhead is right in here, but I just kind of chunked out or, or, or else it's uh, saved some space and really developed the form a little bit further. So third sketch in. Now we're back into some little thumbnail sketches here. Very quickly looking at just some elevations here. Um, elevations, we're getting the intake and the exhaust. High, high rudder, again, a little bit of scoop over the top, same cockpit size. Front, little front elevation, what that might look like, variation of the theme here. Hey, Victoria, good to have you on board, my man. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us here. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting story, Victor. I think, again, the whole idea was to start for the, for the Equinox program on Saturday, looking at something that's really unique in terms of of, of inter interplanetary attack systems and so forth. Just ivory is fine, ha, ha More girth could work. I am an art student, but have a very little experience with these types of drawings. I like how the ship feels like a predator through that. Yeah, that's what, that's a nice point there, Teco. That's a good deal. It's, it has, it has to be aggressive looking. Maybe it's a bit too slippery yet, but it, it may, a little more evil. We'll make that as we go. Um, the doors off. <laughs> these, <laughs> I don't know if I'll blow the doors off. Maybe it just might maybe it might knock me out of the room, Victor. I'm not sure. But uh, Deco, that's a, that's a great comment, Deco. I really appreciate that about the fact that ship feels like a predator. That's what I wanted to get across. Because the actual the hammerhead is a predator, very, very vicious uh, uh, fish type. But again, uh, I really thought it was really kind of neat too, to have this whole thing come back in and do some neat stuff in terms of giving it a whole new Nemocaron, and that's its biological name. So a little elevation study here, a little bit side view, but let me move along here. A lot to cover here. Again, this, this, this stream today will be dedicated strictly to introducing the theme. And then we're going to develop that theme as we go through Saturday, and then maybe next week on my stream, I'll start to develop a little more, a little more guttiness and get some color with it. So I'll be staying with me, Deco. It'll be worth your while. Thank you. So here we are, this is the fourth, fourth study. Then we kind of switch gears and let's look at this guy a little bit. Now, what is the perspective again? Try to get something a little bit more, a little bit more tightened up a little bit, but same basic concept. But I mean, this thing started to zoom a little bit. I mean, this one started to feel pretty good. I still don't, I'm not quite sure about the layering here. This actually graphs underneath the intake of the engines itself. Uh, as we saw, the, um, the elevation changed a little bit, but then I just just thought this. I kept that. I really wanted to honor that same overall body form, for example, as we go through the line here with that um, with the Mako contour that the uh, first sketch I showed you. Still want to really, really work with this form right here, that, oh, but just reversing it. Where this is front, we're now saying that the same basic concept, that now becomes rear. It's the same basic shape. This is front of vehicle here. Um, they get really sheer looking. So I think that's what I'm getting at here, uh, Deco, that whole sheerness of being very crisp, architectural, um, gutty looking, mean, um, vicious. That's the concept we're after here. This one started to take on a real presence, I thought. So, but the perspective was interesting too. No, it's very, very soft and voluptuous and evil where it needs to be where the, where the guts are. So what do you think, gang? So far, so good, making sense? It's really helpful to have your voice and your opinion here. But I'm, I'm really, I'm really honor bound to see if we can make this whole concept of, of split control systems the pilot co-pilot on the outrigger. I think that could really be unique. And now, how do we load that? I don't know. We'll work about that. We'll work about that a little bit later on. So here's sketch number five. We we'll go down the line here. And I kept going with the same basic theme. And then now, now the number six, chains of view again. And this was interesting. Now all of a sudden, coming up on top of this thing and really doing a really neat job of again keeping that same basic form through the middle. Uh, what's missing in the sketch is a very large uh, dorsal fin of the tail itself, but it has a lot of character to it. I think this is just to open it up. Notice very, very plan form comes out and drops, and then the wing bridge into these pilot co pilot command units could be kind of interesting. So let me stop there for a minute. Uh, nice lines. It's a precursor to the Mustang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's precursor. That's pretty good, Victoria. Neat. So what do you think, gang, so far? Are we making some, are we moving this in the right direction, do you think? Or are we just getting a bit too uh, too secure? I don't want to be secure. I want to really, really make a comment with this biomimicry process of getting this thing really begin to function and have a really great story to tell in terms of developing the actual sketch itself. So again, back to the basic theme, just a little bit more girth in the body form here with the intakes and the engine system coming through. Um, uh, pull up a pick up the constant the outland uh, Mustang. Oh yeah, that's that's interesting. Thank you, outland the Mustang. Okay, I will do that. Um, um, hope we haven't kind of made plagiarized. I'm not, not not aware of that. Are we are we pretty close, Victoria? Or are we safe? <laughs> not don't want to violate that law. 
Anyhow, here we are, gangs, but uh, th 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 just a very interesting thing. Hmm, I don't want to sound out opinionated, but feels a little secure at this stage. I really like those vents on the previous sketch. I won't lie. Oh, yeah. So you look at this one here, Deco, this guy here, where you actually come back and really open this up a little bit, some venting up on top. Is that what you're after? Hmm, no one, no, you're not opinionated at all. I just appreciate the input at all. That's why we put these programs on. Um, I've developed some things. Uh, yeah, for me, the, yeah, I think that's got some character to it. It kind of lightens it up a little bit, too, so it takes some of the girth out of it, but uh, not bad at all. It just gets some of those detailing in there. I think you're right. Um, this was moved again. I'm going to do more guts in this, uh, put more body surface to it to kind of see what it would look like, the balance, but it has a, too much weight to it. I think the thinness in here, if I eliminate this intake piece, go back to that slim piece up on top and vent it, but you're talking about deco, it could be really interesting. Um, and so, you're safe. You haven't pregnant. <laughs> just like a distant cousin. They might have stolen their design. Yeah, you know, that's a good idea. We can kind of look into that, Victor. We should, we should let them know. That's ours. So, but once they see ours, they will be jealous. So, here we are. Sketch number six. And again, Deco, a great comment about but this weight here, and I shifted. The minute I did that, ah, it's too much mass. I'm a lot more comfortable in almost every theme thus far. Even some of the earlier sketches was real, real thin gossamer. In fact, the, in fact, to me, the shield, almost the shingle overlap of this form up on top of the surface itself. I didn't, I didn't describe it in this sketch here, but this, this has an interesting feel to it because what happens here? That shear comes off the engine in nacelle, comes up, drops down again, and there's an intake in through here and an intake up on top. So it's got a little bit more evilness to it. So I think we're getting closer to that too, Victor. Neat stuff. So there we are. Let's go back. I covered that one already. Pardon me. Five. Let's go back in again. There's the six. We've already looked at that guy. And then we're back into some thumbnail studies again and just thought, hmm, what about this? Uh, what if we took that same basic shape and started to look more disc like and more so it's actually those the pilots and co pilot would rotate inside that nacelle here? Now, I'm really back to what uh, Deco was saying earlier. Um, this is really a bit, a bit too sketch five is thick and shard feels like it could run on a dime. Yeah, sketch five, I think, is really that's to me that's got that's got some character to it. I think shard, I'm put that one aside right there. That's a, that's it. Yeah, are you referring to Deco to this this elevation study? And in addition to the, uh, the perspective study up on top, you mentioned earlier. Hmm. You laid it. Sharp. You the link. <laughs> there it is. So I think that's got some character to it. Now maybe we stretch this. This one, I think we stretch a bit more. What do you think about that? If we take keep the same overall character, but we stretch the bot the monocoque, you know, the back of body forms. A little bit stubby now. I'd like to see this go a little longer. And open this up a little bit more, but but maintain the same uh, same character. So I understand you said earlier you're a design student. Um, oh, what are you studying um, uh, over in uh, in, uh, in uh, the UK? Are you in industrial design or illustration, or what's what's your format here, at, uh, Deco? I really appreciate. I mean, I'm really thrilled to have you on board. What a joy! Somebody from Wales. That's cool. So that's number five. Let's keep that one out. <clears throat> so back to number number six here. Oops, stack this up. Pardon me, lost it. Nope, there it is. Oh, it's all over here. So, again, uh, I think you're right. The weights here, we got, but I think some of this, again, the mass in here is the same thing. It's, just, it's on your Chester. In the fine arts, I'll be heading to Chester. Oh, that's outstanding. Well, congratulations to you. I hope you stay in touch, and I wish you all the very best. And if I can be of any help to you from a drawing point of view, um, uh, wonderful. I mean, I've got a digital drawing program out in the marketplace now, so I'll, I'm going to end my stream. I'll, uh, I'll bring up the speed on wherever that is, Deco. Like, uh, congratulations. I think that's good for you. Uh, you know, I'm sure you have a great career in front of you, and if I can be of any help to you, I'm here. So I'm almost, uh, I stream every Wednesday at the same time. I'm a little late today because of some office stuff I had to take care of. But back to business here. So a lot of, a lot of I spend a lot of time, honestly, folks, uh, this is going to sound like a trite comment to me. I spend a lot of time really thinking about surface work and developing shape. What's the overall character? What do we want to, what do we want to develop here? Is it sheerness? Is it, is it voluptuous? Is it luxury? Uh, what's, is it elegance? I'm really not sure, but uh, I'd love to at least keep up with this project here. I pre yeah, we're going to keep up with this project. Right? We're going to capture this before the next two or three streams. Um, in Deco. So sketch number six, out of the out of the system, up and down. Sometimes you hit one, sometimes you miss them, but a little details here and there might come into play and really do some neat stuff. Last but not least, number seven. Um, and I'll move on to some other things here. Um, so it's pretty pretty interesting how that all came together. Now notice, this one is interesting because, again, I'm still not happy with the girth in it. There's something about the weight. I need to get that thing compressed a little bit more so it's a little slimmer. 
and I also think it needs to be stretched. But the outriggers here, going back to what you were saying with number five here, I think we're going to start taking some of these combinations here. Uh, got to go that combination of wing surface, maybe open this up a little bit more to give this the kind of character. But again, the weight, if I take some of that out of that, if I take some of the weight out of that thing by doing this right there, I took that weight out of that body form. That's got a little more thinness to it, I think, give it some guts. At the same time, stretch that form out so it really kind of elaborates that. Because I think a hammerhead is anywhere from what eight to twelve feet in length. Something that was fully grown, so that's a that's a big machine. So I see this thing as being a very massive interdiction, um, interdiction um, uh, escort fighter of some sort. Uh, so it'd be kind of neat. So um, this is number seven. And again, notice I, I thought now this is more like look at look at the weight right here in that in that body form. If I were to cover this up again. There's the actual mass of the form right there. So it really kind of slims it up. This has that same character again, Deco, that you liked with the with the venting. That that piece there became that piece there didn't have the vents. But there's something about there's something about the weight of this one, I think, that really looks kind of sleek and hammer-like and uh, um, more kind of, and just has that character to it. So I think we're in good shape there. Um, this one is kind of a little bit, I'm leaning toward that overall weight, you know, the balance of maybe that double dip here is not too slip. I mean, this is all one consistent surface. And we take that offset up front. And then this is a little cockpit area. I'm going to have to bubble that up a little bit to get more mass. I'm really not sure how that's going to function. That's so going to be very, very candid and, and, and uh, transparent here. Maybe it's more of a vertical pod like we're seeing in this one, uh, like Decker. Like maybe it's more of that look uh, instead of a roundness. And there's something about that that might be a little clumsy. By the time you get an occupant in there, it could be an actually about a five-foot globe of some sort. And that's, that's not very healthy. Whereas this could be real slim, much more interdictive looking, and far more evil. So it's almost like a, um, like a, a kid of pilot, a kilo pen coming out and grabbing the, uh, the enemy of some sort. So there we are. And then there's number seven. And I went back to just a very, very quick last study here. Very quick elevations on this thing. Um, another study here. Um, again, just... just Looking at weights, different contours, and again, notice a little bit, a little slimmer through here. Um, got back that to it again. Same thing, venting up on top. Pretty evil so far, so good, gang. There she is, just uh, sketch number eight, and uh, that's the last study I did. Just kind of give it the same overall look here. So, um, very interesting generation from start to finish. Let me go back to where I started here. This is where it all began. This whole biome. Let's see if I can put these guys side by side. Just a little bit, uh, just a touch here. No, no, not, not going to work. So. But uh, the whole biomimicry thing to me was really intriguing. Going back to that basic hammerhead, I love these side profiles you have done. Yeah, the, the profiles are, I think that's a good point too, Dick. But the reason I always start with that, if you look at the most difficult thing to do from my perspective uh, in industrial design, um, I spent all my career at General Motors Design Staff. I was chief designer for Corvette, uh, Cadillac, and a lot of systems with the Europe uh, uh, at Opel uh, for a year. I um, was director of design over at Opel. Um, really fortunate to do a lot of neat stuff as an as automobile designer. And I just kind of brought that back and I did a lot of architectural work, a lot of interior space work, product design, and my company here called Formations in Columbus, Ohio. Um, but the profiles, to me, I've always, I learned early in my career from some great instructors, for example, at CCS, uh, Center for Creative Studies in Detroit, that the most difficult thing to do is a really good, wholesome side elevation. Because that will tell you a story. When you see a side elevation like that, and from my point of view, when I do a side study like this, or any one of these sketches, so back to the one you liked here, any one of these elevations, let's use this guy as a great example. That elevation, right away, a good elevation will tell me it, well, uh, 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 I, I've been very fortunate, um, uh, Deco, believe me, I've done some neat stuff. I've worked with Ferrari, Maserati, um, uh, Lamborghini, Rolls-Royce. I've been all over the place. I was in Europe. Um, I've really a lot of design experience um, uh, over the course of time. But I'm now in the teaching mode. I'm doing a lot of Twitch systems. I still do consulting work for a variety of clients here uh, across the country and overseas. Uh, very fortunate. But I love going on Twitch because I'm helping people like yourself, and you're helping me. Um, I've really, and I've got a great design uh, program I want to introduce you to at the end of the program here. Uh, we'll get, get you tuned in and hope you stay on tune here. But again, notice what to me, back to this elevation thing, your comment about side profiles look good. That tells a story. Once you see an elevation, automatically, I'm thinking about third, the third dimension, what the surfaces are doing, what kind of interfaces we're getting, what are the counterpoints, what are the, what are the sharps and contrasts doing. It's almost like putting together a piece of music. There's a rhythm to it. And if you get a great profile or a great elevation, all of a sudden everything falls into place. So I'm a firm believer if you get a good solid profile down and you move into perspective, 
This helps you understand that, and that begins to generate this even further. So they all work together, and I think as you go to the University of Chichester, I hope you really look into the fact that uh, study a lot of, take a lot of time doing some really pensive work on elevation sketches, and then think in the third dimension, because that's what they intend to do. Uh, it's a soldier study in a sense, and they call it a soldier study because in the very beginning of some of the development of the automobile design industry, they just soldiered on with this as a soldier. They fought the battle, fought the battle, fought the battle. So it became a soldier study in, in terms of sketch rendering skills. So let me move along here, folks. I don't want to bore you to death here. Now, this is a fun part here. I got to, uh, I'm going to leave that five out here um, and put that aside. Let me just, for a moment, let me switch gears. Now, this is the fun part. From this generation, I went back and said, you know what? This would be kind of cool to see what happens here. Let me do this. I'm going to bring this up to speed here, guys. <clears throat> Hold on a moment. Let me get this guy out. <clears throat> we'll take it a little further down the line here with this thing. Now, we've been in a sketchbook here. Look at my gallery. And I went ahead, and some time ago, I just went ahead and really did some, some further exploration digitally. So this is, this, is a, this is a fascination for me in a sense, because what I did, let me start here. I went back in, uh, so we can drop these down a little bit. Can you see that all right? There we go. Oh, got that light in the way here. Let's move this over so yeah, that's better. That should stay pretty clear. Here we go. Um, back in again, after I finished that first set of pencil sketches, what I did, I went back into my iPad and just did some really quick, fast uh, ballpoint pen sketches and a little bit of airbrush, put a little more surface into it. But I started further down the genealogy about, okay, it's it's a hammerhead, it's a mocharang, it has a genus about it, it has a character about it, maybe there's more gulp bulk, maybe, it's, maybe we need to stretch it, maybe there's an actual cock, cockpit instead of an outriggers and so forth. Oh, let me bring that back down scale. There we are. Okay. There we go. So let me walk you down the line here with these things, and uh, we'll see what happens here. So I started here after I finished this last uh, sketch, number eight. Went back in and said, you know, it'd be kind of worthwhile maybe just a touch to go back in and take some, take advantage of maybe maybe it's maybe it's too soft. Maybe we'll go back and get a little bit more stealth-like with it. So uh, let's, let's go down the line here. Let me just pass these through. And as we go down the line here, folks, please help me out. Yays and nays. And again, these are real fast, maybe uh, five, ten minute sketches per page or per plate uh, using an iPad. So let's go down the line here. Let me, let's go down the line. There she is. Front elevation. Inside view again. A little bit more girth. I mean, I'm not quite sure that the, the weights are there yet, but I mean, I just as we go through this, I'm beginning to see too much, too little, too, I mean, too organic, I mean, too sheer here. It's got to be a lot rounder, I think, as we go on the line here. So let's go back down the line again. And again, no, this is a really odd proportion back here. There are times... The deco you find out uh, as you go through the process i'm sure you find as well victoria sometimes you go through the process and good god how in the world did i create that thing but you know that's good because it gets it out of your system and you don't repeat the same mistake so you look at certain things down the line here what to add what to delete and what to move into the concept and again i'm really honor bound to get this whole biomimicry piece to really kind of sing clearly with this whole split wing system how do we develop that and uh, where the occupant's going to be aha uh -huh, i totally know what you mean yeah it's it's incredible it just really is amazing how it works let's go that's down the line here i'm back in some elevations again just a really quick little thumbnail sketch it's getting a lot sharper a little more a little sheer I love some of these broken for example these broken faceted planes it's a lot more stealth-like. So maybe that's a combination we're looking for, and the stealth combination in the wing surface and the very soft organic form of the body form of the hammerhead shark itself, or the Mokoran, which is its genesis name. So there we are. There's uh, sketch number two. Let's go down the line here again. Back to plan view. Now maybe it's uh, maybe it's more conventional like this. Um, I, I mean, I, I really spread the gamut. Was it was it a split window? Was it split wing? Uh, was it basically all set up in one area or the other? Um, Right, the very simple dart-like plan forms, and are getting into a lot of breakage, for example, these wings can move and articulate, but there's still something missing about it. I think I moved away a little bit from that whole idea of having that, that hammerhead uh, concept up front and splitting it into those two, two uh, outriggers for canopy and systems and so forth. Hey, Victor, if you're still there, what do you think? Uh, so far, so good. Then, Deco, feel free to fire away here as you go through these sketches. Uh, great input, and I really thank you for the time spent, guys. This is great. Uh, I'm a little concerned today about being so abstract on the actual um, biomimicry concept stuff that might be a little bit removed, but I uh, really appreciate your time and effort here to kind of uh, chime in and help me through the process because 
believe me, that conversation means an awful lot in terms of putting things together here. So, uh, again, back to more conventional weapon system, much more of a uh, contemporary fighter, a little more stealth-like. Let's go back to another one here. Now, back to plan view. Uh, that was interesting. Maybe a little bit too soft. I don't care for the almost the equal weight of the wings here, but maybe we, if we reverse that and go the other way, there might be something to that. Um, that that's that has a possibility. So um, down the line here, uh, very much more organic, a lot rounder. Um, I don't know if it has the same feel that the, the Mako has or the pardon me, the uh, Hammerhead has. But it, again, exploring what if, and then to me, that's the to me, it's a real uniqueness about getting the design. It's the unknown until you take those chances, until you begin to make mistakes, so to speak. And let me say something to you as well, Deco, that really will be, hopefully will be helpful to you. I am fully encourage you to make mistakes because that's where the miracles live. I mean, I went through the design process working with Ferrari and other individuals, uh, Cadillac and Corvette, the new C8 on the road as it came out of my studios. Um, what I've found in that whole process was really unique in terms of the more, you, when you make a mistake, that's where the miracles are. For example, Ferrari, you know, that famous Maranello line, that was a reversal from, from the initial uh, Cobra GT. So we turn it around and all of a sudden it became a Testarossa. I mean, just interesting things like that. Those mistakes become absolute miracles. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. Use them as a springboard to strengthen your portfolio and so on. So and there's another little plan view study here. Let's go down the line here. Another one. I mean, I'm starting to move a little bit more. This has more of a bat-like feel to it. I mean, it maybe has a little bit more of that same organic form, that little shape up front that is almost hammerhead-like. Um, and looking at it uh, from that point of view, um, but again, I think this has a lot more personality that has a combination of being sheer in some areas and very organic in others. And again, very biomimicry related to this back to this hammerhead. Uh, maybe if we turn this thing around, that's interesting too. If we turn this thing upside down, look at the conventional sketch a few slides ago, maybe you think, what if we split design with the pilots and retractable wings? Maybe you like that. Yeah, that's exactly right. Tomcat type, uh, well said. Uh, that would be really interesting to get those. Uh, again, the whole idea behind that split wing was to have those wings move. Absolutely correct, uh, Deco. Um, <clears throat> at the conventional sketch a few slides ago, made me think a split design with the co pilots and retractable wings, maybe like that. Yeah, that could be cool too. So they're out there on the outrigger. And I might say, you know, the outrigger that actually move, that can adjust as you go through from certain variations of speed or attack modes. That's an interesting concept. This is why we have conversations on Twitch. This is great help. So, but I thought this was interesting in terms of you know, maybe the overall character. It had a lot more stealth to it, a little crisper looking, much more linear. So maybe in a combination with just upfront, very soft and organic when we need to be, uh, get back to that body form of the hammerhead or the Mokaran. That's our, that's our call sign, the Mokaran one or A, I don't know. Anyway, let's move along here. Next sketch. Back to some basic elevations and plan view settings again. Just maybe it's a little more lean. Now, notice all of a sudden it, it takes it gets a little crisper, but again, it's another variation of the theme. This would actually begin to pivot and move. That that thing moves, and that whole thing could be a stabilizer of some sort. Again, conventional cockpit, uh, conventional cockpit. A little bit of split fork up front to kind of show you what those themes are doing and what they look like. But again, I'm I'm just moving back and forth as I said in the beginning of the stream too. This is not a finalization day. This is the day to introduce what the whole concept is. <clears throat> and what the concept is, is to find something that has a little more drama, like a star citizen or, or a concept that would be an introductory fighter, or an escort fighter, that has a different format to it in terms of pilot co-pack or delivery or, or uh, uh, module systems for occupation. So that's gonna be part of the process as well. So here we go, let's move along here as we go down the line here. Next study. This started to open up a little bit. That was kind of interesting. I'm not quite sure about the bulbousness of this guy right here. I mean, that, that, that's, that's gotta be slimmed up a little bit. But I thought that plan view had some interest to it, where it actually opened up the arc itself. And again, if we put these guys on the upward side, maybe these wings move up and down. They could pivot, for example, um, on about maybe a 60 degree angle. So if you've got the fixed wing, and all of a sudden it begins to pivot up and down. That could be interesting, Deco. So thanks for the input. That's something I'm gonna factor into the actual design sketch itself. So, Victor, what do you think? So far, so good. Are we there? Uh, are we getting close? I'm having, fun. I mean, I'm having fun with this thing. This has been a very intriguing process because it causes you to think in terms of what's it doing out there in the aquatic world? How's it going to work in the aircraft world? How do we begin to build that bridge and give it that same character? So here we go. Um, that's uh, that's uh, interesting. Again, exploring plan views, elevations, sur surface work, and details yet to come. Uh, if we find something that all of a sudden nestles in, uh, I will have no difficulty whatsoever putting a lot of balance and really, really interesting detail back in to get the program to work. So let's move along here again. 
uh, back to some elevation studies. These started to look um, interesting, where they're, they're very, very clean looking. This is almost minus the vents here, Deco. This starts to pick up some of the same character you like. And I think this weight here looks much healthier for, for a podule system in the plan view. When I open that up and uh, move on into you know, that same concept that we did, uh, for example, if we look at this shape, uh, was the one you liked. Right in front of me here. If you, if you like this form, for example, that podule system here could work very nicely. Notice what I did here too with this, this sketch. I brought that body form straight up out of the intake and right and create a chute, like a ram chute over the top of that. So that is an integrated piece. It captures the more of the oldest part of the body behind. Yeah, I think that I think you're right. This do you like this one here? Is that the one you're referring to? That to me had some real zing to it. That was neat. And, it, and again, we can pick up that same wing structure and then the outrigger. This is the plan view. We look very similar to what your favorite number five is doing, uh, Deco. So, so far, so good. I mean, it, it's really, it's such a chase in terms of, boy, you, you, you push the envelope, then you come back a little bit. Then you go a little bit further and you get too chunky, too fat, too this, too little, too that. Uh, but I think that's where the balance is. And I think that to me, to me, the intrigue of drawing is the exploratory side. You, know, you, you go into a reverie area, for example, or an area you've never been to before, and you challenge yourself, and uh, you'll find that out when you go to Chichester. You'll find yourself challenging yourself to do some really unique things. So, uh, again, I'm really happy for it. I'm glad you're doing that, uh, Deco. That's going to be really cool. But uh, I think this guy here, when I cranked this one out um, the other day, I thought, ah, that's interesting. That, that kind of brings up that same bio, it has that same basic overall body form, but it's got the sheerness where it needs it and the organics where it needs it. So there we go. Let's move along here. Plan view here. Uh, a little bit of a different variation, reverse than the actual plan itself. I'm not so sure that one really captures it at all. But um, it certainly has some uh, essence to it in terms of uh, being able to put it all together. Um, again, really looking at basic themes and studies here about what these forms could do. And I'm nearly not quite, um, I'm not quite there yet in terms of where we want to settle in. There's a lot of yays and nays here. And I think some of the elements you picked up on, for example, again, that goes number five as a start. Maybe thin it up a little bit and stretch it a little bit more and give it this kind of character. Maybe, maybe this platform, this and this becomes integrated. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how that begins to uh, tell the story. But, again, but that's what it is. So to me, that's what the whole process of design is all about. It's telling a story from start to finish. Uh, what, was the, what was the origin? And what was the destination? How do you get there? And you get there by through a lot of trial and error. Somebody makes mistakes. Sometimes they work. Sometimes they don't. It's just a very strange set of circumstances they go through. But based off the head of the shark. Uh, yeah, that was that one's based off the head of the shark itself. That's exactly correct. Um, so it was almost the same plan for him where it actually changed it. Instead of going the other direction, uh, Deco it went right with it, so to spend it just a bit. Uh, I'm not so sure that's really what I'm after. I think the reverse is better. Um, what do you think? I'll just hold on for a moment. Get your input here. This came back to the same hammerhead system now as we see it. But if there's something else about this whole thing that just, I just didn't feel, I think the other one's newer. Um, not that new is the only thing you want to look at. It has a lot, I think it has a lot more substance to make a real impact in, in the interdiction process or attack system that they're going to go through. Any comment there? Take away. If you're still with me, cool. Nope. Put that one back up. I agree with you on that one. It has a great shape, but the whole body feels, yeah, the whole body feels more complete. I think you're right. I think that's absolutely true. Let me put this aside for a moment here. And we'll get a fresh sheet of paper and do a couple of little, let me put that aside here. So that, that was the, that was the walkthrough, for example, on some of these guys. Let me go back again to just a series of variations of themes here. Um, some digital systems. Uh, I work digitally sometimes just to kind of free things up a bit. I'm not really in love with it. I think the more mechanical stuff is to me more, far more intriguing. Uh, but there we are. Let's just kind of let me shut this down for a second here. And let's go back to a blank sheet of paper and begin to put a story together here. So let's do this. If I'm working off this guy here, let's see what happens here. Let me wrap up something really quickly. If I take this into the plan view the perspective, what I'm saying is this maybe it's a case of let's get a drive line here. Drive line there, a drive line there. Let's get that body form in. I'll stretch it a little thinner. Now let's come off that drive line with that with that intake is. Real loose little sketch here. Let's get that real long canard. Let's go back here. Get that tail fin back in through and build that one off the base. Now let's get that little, let's get that reverse hood. Now 
Oh, let's get this guy. what the oxygen might look like in terms of where we go with this guy again another brush not quite sure the surface of here, but that, that's basic character right after just but this just getting a lot more it's a little leaner kind of open this thing up a little bit more and maybe that's part of the whole process too i'm not sure yet i mean it's a little bit of gossamer here maybe this comes out like that it actually comes in and gives me more weight to this thing it kind of drops down this can actually move as well so a lot of articulation here but that's fine it's, I don't know if we need that back there. This comes in, it goes back. It goes back. It simplifies some of the forms, but that, that basic gesture is almost where we are here with this guy, side by side here. And there it is, whole body feels more complete. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. That's a great shape, but the whole body, 
All right, here we are. That's it's five and another variation theme here. And again, what I really think is interesting too. Um, let's go back to a different sheet here just for a second. Pretty interesting to me as well as this. When you come back to this thing, maybe it's a case of getting that. To me, that whole gesture is important. It's an elevation again. It's a gesture that matters. So it's very leading a little like it comes back up and then drops off. It comes back in and does that. And there's a little bit of that, that, that shroud that does this. And that shroud comes back in. This is that engine nacelle. Okay, there we are. Whole theme sketch here. I know how smooth that main body. Yeah, me too. It's nice and easy. So I think that's going to kind of kind of wrap it up a little bit. I just I'm really looking forward to seeing what we do with this form. And it's a little bit more vaporous yet. Um, as I said, I just started putting this theme together over the last day or so. And um, so there's a lot of a lot of generation going on here in terms of where it started, and we're going back and develop the form. We go back and forth. Have you thought about incorporating the really swept back tail fin most hammerheads have? Or do you think that? No, no, I think that would be kind of neat. Um, um, he's talking about really, really kind of pulling this tail section back a little bit, do you think, Deco? I mean, going a little, more, a little more severe? That's not a bad idea. So have you thought about incorporating the really swept back tail fin most hammerheads have? 
Or do you think that might be compromised or overall impression? No, I don't think it would be compromised at all. I think it might be a big help. You're talking about, hopefully, you're referring to a comment like this guy right here, right? That very large dorsal fin, taking this guy right here, this guy right here, and giving it the same big overall shape. Yeah, I think that, that, that could work. I mean, these are the, this, this is why I love inter interaction on the actual system itself. Let me just put these all together. Just a series of sketches here. We kind of get them all, almost on the same page, almost. Okay, we'll move up just a bit. I love about the interaction because it kind of gives you the impact of how you guys are looking at this thing and how I'm seeing it. And the interface is terrific. And any, any input to me about this whole biomimicry process, about this having this mocha around, really do a job and become a real interesting introduction or attack fighter to me is really interesting. So the input is great. We can work it all in, see what happens. I'm gonna probably, what I'll do, I'll get go just to make sure that we're doing, the, uh, I'm listening very carefully here, take that same basic concept and try it, some of the sketches over the top of the same basic body form. So I don't know. So I think real quickly here, are you, are you, are you saying this, for example, if you have the basic body form here, there's, there's, this, there's the bone line, spine line here, that comes back in has that same overall shoot to it here. It's really nice and smooth over the top of this thing. And what you're saying is this, I think, come back and really develop that form going back and being a lot more that kind of character or something like that. Is that what you're after? Is that what you're saying? Or is it more, is it rounder or like the initial actual form itself? I mean, I'm trying to take that same variation, not so aquatic with it, but more aircraft. Maybe it's more of that. It might be right. That's interesting. I'm going to take that line through it in the nacelle. Well, look how simple that is. That could be kind of cool. Maybe a little bit of floater off the back of this thing, like a canard. That could be neat. And take this into that again. There it is. That's an interesting gesture right there. What do you think? That goes that what you're after? That could be interesting. It's good. Excellent point. Super. I'll give you a moment to respond there. What do you think? Is that the basic concept? Well, we're at it here. Take that bone line through here. I'm not quite sure. I want to keep that lower really kind of. Maybe it's just that. That's simple. Let me add another line here. And the intake. Come out of that with wing. Anyway, basically, yeah, there it is. I love how. So, is that the, is that the form you're after there, Dick? Are you talking about the more more the swept back tail system that the uh, actual hammerhead has? Super. Well, if you don't respond, I think I'll just kind of take off and do that. But yeah, potentially, it seems a pretty interesting route to try. Maybe even having the tip of the fin dip back down slightly. Centric, no, come back. To, in other words, coming back up on top and just drop back a bit like that. More of that drop. Very cool. That could work. And that that brings it back to almost that's a great insight because that and that brings it back to that that very biomimicry piece we're looking at here where it actually let's do this now that one shape right now that begins at that form here let me get these all on the same page here now that form here starts to take on the same character by dropping it back it gives you that same overall drop that the actual body form is doing so that's going to be interesting to, to pursue so good insight uh, Deco thank you so much um let me just kind of do this we'll wrap it up here today this is then we get these sketches i'll organize these sketches later i just want to take a moment um especially to you deco for uh, thank you for joining me today what an absolute joy to have you on board i'm really glad you've joined us um it's a brilliant intro stream it's very wednesday you will be yeah every wednesday i'm i try to be live at around 2 30 or so a little bit late today deco because of some opposite uh, system i have to take care of here but i'm streaming every wednesday um on uh, a different subject matter i'll go from transportation design to aircraft design to product design interior space um arc and all over the map uh, sometimes i just do some fine artwork as well some watercolor stuff so um and um, but primarily I, I try to do something that's very citron hey how are you citron thanks very much where are you coming from outstanding thank you so much citron 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 anyhow thank you so much for joining here today and uh, but again deco i'd love to have you uh, 
uh, the rest of them. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna we're gonna take this uh, the next maybe week or two. Phase one to get the theme down, which is today. Phase two, refine a little bit more in the show on Saturday with the uh, um, with the. Uh, uh, Star Citizen Group at Equinox and begin to develop that shape. A little bit. There might be a little bit more of a duration, but in the end run, we're going to do some really cool final illustration pieces. So while you're at it here, Deco, uh, Citron, um, Citron, um, I hope I pronounced that correctly. By the way, where are you from, Citron? I've been, uh, interesting. Uh, thank you for joining us here today. That's great. Um, what I'd like to um, propose to you, um, uh, Deco, if you have a moment, um, uh, take a look at my, at my website, drcontrast.com. Uh, there's a whole series of lesson plans on there from basic drawing skills and perspective, things of that nature, uh, up into uh, sketch rendering, volumetrics. It's a nine lesson program, very affordable. See what you think of that. Let me know what you think in terms of an email. If you have any questions about drawing at all, please feel free to uh, contact me at my website, I mean, my uh, email address, at jim at drcontrast.com. Uh, it's, it's all there. I'm very interested. So, uh, again, uh, information is on my website. The website itself is drcontrast.com. Um, and again, any, anything I can do to help you, Deco, from a drawing point of view, whether it's perspective or basic shading or whatever. Um, oh, thank you very much. First time chat. Very, thank you so much. From Turkey. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Wales and Turkey. Thank you very much for joining me. And thank you for your very kind comment about Press by Your Art. I'm impressed that you took the time to watch. That's fantastic. I'll try some biomimicry in my own time while I wait for part two. I'll uh, be sure to have a look at ask questions if you have any. Thank you. Oh, that's, that's great. Thank you today for today as well, uh, Deco and, and Chuchuan. Thank you so much from Turkey. That's outstanding. Um, I will join you next Wednesday. And, uh, and please, again, my uh, uh, now following. Thank you so much. That's fantastic. Thank you. I really, really enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the program as much as I enjoyed having you on board. So, so Victoria, uh, Deco, and Chuchuan. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, again, I can be reached. Uh, look at my website, drcontrast.com. Any questions, please send me a note, the email to uh, jim at drcontrast.com. Happy to help you in any way I can. But I always end my stream by making this comment because it comes right from the bottom of my heart. Never forget to, to dare to be great. Never forget to remember to dare to be great because you are. Thanks for taking the time. Decker, we'll see you next Wednesday. And then, uh, please tell your friends about the program. I'd love to have more people join me from Wales. Fantastic. See you next week. Again, thanks so much on um, Wednesday, 2.30. And if I have any conflicts and so forth, um, I'll put out a note on my Discord uh, channel and you can get that squared away. And I'm also going to look at, maybe I need your help here too. Last comment. Maybe what I'll do in the next uh, weeks to come because of the, the volume coming up here, maybe you go twice a week, Tuesday, Thursday, or something of that nature. Uh, help me out here, folks. And once again, so grateful for the time you spent. All of you, all of you, take care, great care of yourself. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. And once again, dare to be great because you are. Thank you very much. Have a good one.